say I have 24 candies and I'm feeling nice today so I want to share my 24 candies with two of my friends and they I don't want them to be mad at me so I have to give them equal amount of candy so if I was to divide this up equally I would go back and forth giving each friend some candy making sure that they're both getting the same amount and when I'm done here, my 24 candies would be sorted into two equal groups for my two friends. And in each friend would be getting two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve candies. So if I was to write a math equation to show this, it would look like this. So I have how many groups here? Two. So two times how many each of them have in their group was 12 and I haven't eaten any candies in the meantime so I should still have 24 candies so then this one here 2 times 12 equals 24 let's take a look at what happens if all of a sudden two more of my friends come along and now I have to split the candy between four of them let's see what happens so now I went from having two groups to four groups that I need to make so my number of groups has doubled there's twice as many friends that I need to split this candy up between now so if I was to do that let's get these ones out of the way I'll give each one two to begin with now once my candy is divided up each of my friends gets six candies so let's take a look at what the multiplication looks like here. So my number of groups here is there's four of them, four friends that are each holding a group of candy. So it's four times how much each of them have. They each get six candies and I still haven't eaten any yet. So I still have 24 candies take a look at our two equations you can see that when our groups doubled so 2 doubled is 4 so when this column we had the groups that doubled take a look at what happened in the other column we went from having 12 candies to only 6 candies and half of 12 is 6 so this side halved so you can see, if you can half one number, or double one number, and half the other one, you still get the same amount at the end. You still have the same amount of candies at the end here. So now let's take a look at another example and see if this works for other examples too. Here's another example. If I have 5 times 6, that's an easy one. I know that is 30. Let's double check our having and doubling theory here. Now when I'm looking at these two numbers, how do I know which one I should half and which one I should double? Well, in this example, it's easy because I can't really have 5 and make this be easy mental math. So I'm going to double 5, which brings me to 10, which is always a nice and easy number to multiply by. So if I, ha if I doubled 5, that means I'll have to half 6. Half of 6 is 3, and 10 times 3 is equal to 30. So we doubled the 5, we have the 6, and in the end we got both the same answers. So this is another one of our strategies that we can use. Sometimes you can look at the two numbers and if one can be halved and one can be doubled and that makes it easier for you, that's a strategy that you can use.